So in our last episode, we started working on a problem where we wanted to separate the file extension from the file name so that we could search for commonly larger file types, like MP4 and PSD files. We were pretty easily able to separate these specific files since they were exactly two characters long. But we quickly realized this doesn't work for all file extensions, like our Excel files with extensions like XLSX. In this episode of Data Dorks, we're going to keep working on this problem so it can find all types of extensions by learning how to search for a specific character or characters inside a string. You're probably a bit curious because when I say search for specific characters, you might be thinking I am going to search for the specific file extension explicitly like .py or .xlss. However, that doesn't really seem efficient and honestly there's all sorts of extensions that exist on my computer I don't even know about. What I do know is that there is a little character before each extension in a file that you probably know as a period. But as a data dork, we refer to this as a dot. If we search for this character in each of our files, then we at least know where the file extension begins. Let's jump over to Excel and see this in action. This is our file from our previous episode. So how are we going to search for the dot before the extension in a file? In Excel, there happens to be this nifty little function called find, which will return the starting position of the text string that you enter. So let's create another column called find. How the find function works is we first pass what character or characters we want to find in a string. In our case, simply the period. Don't forget to put parentheses around it though, since it's still a string. Then a comma, and the second argument we pass is the string we want to search for our dot, in which in our case is our Comic-Con 2016 file. All right, now let's use this instead inside our mid function. Looking at it though, you notice that in our mid function, we have a starting point for extension as the 13th character, but our find function returned the 12th. This is because specifically, we were looking for the dot, so if we want the extension, it will always start one character after the dot. So we can just add one to our find function and include it in the mid function. Or you can get rid of referencing our new column by doing this. Now this is a single formula, and it worked with our Python file, but looking at our Excel file, it cut off the last X in the extension. Hmm. What should we do now? Because in the last argument, we are the ones defining the length of the extension. Right now it is always set to three, and in all our Excel substring functions, we need to know the length of the extension. So let me introduce you to another Excel function called length that finds the whole length of a string for us. All we need to put inside this function is the string we want to find the length of, which is just our files. If you notice now, by having the position the extension starts at, along with the whole length of the string, we actually have the length of the extension itself by subtracting the two. Now we could just copy paste this inside the mid function and be done. But this is even more than we need now. Since if we know the length of the extension, and you remember the write function starts from the end of the string and returns us the number of characters we tell it, we could just put this inside the write function and it is the same thing. That wasn't too bad. Python makes it even easier for us because if you remember, you actually don't have to explicitly define the end of a string. You can just leave the right side after the colon empty. So let's look at how to find specific characters or strings of characters in Python. As you might have already imagined, there is also a find function in Python that works practically identical to the way we work with it in Excel. One thing I want to note though, is that although we are calling this a function, it is technically a method. What is the difference between a method and a function? Methods are practically identical to functions, but instead of being called by name, they are tied to an object, which in our case is our string variable. We will explore this idea further in our next video as we look at data types. For now though, we are fine thinking of these as the same, but just instead of passing our original file name into our function like we did in Excel, Python knows the original string we are referencing by following the variable with dot find like this. Just like in Excel, now we have the location of our dot character. Notice though, that we are getting 11 and in Excel we got 12. Again, I want to reiterate that Python starts counting at zero, 
So our first character is technically in the zeroth position, unlike in Excel where it is at the first position. If you remember in Excel, we also want to add one to this, so we are not including the dot itself in the extension name. Now we just have to add this as our starting value of our Python slice. And like we talked about earlier, we can leave after the colon empty to get everything until the end of the string. Now we have a way to split our file extension from our full file name in both Excel and Python. We just learned how we can find specific characters and even strings of characters inside other strings or large blocks of text. In our next episode of Data Dorks, we're going to dive into the concept of data types and why the type of the variable tells us whether we can do things like using find.